Okay, now in this chapter, we're going to talk about money and inflation, right? So let's talk about inflation first of all. Well, in order to understand inflation, we have to talk about money definitely. But what is an inflation? So for example, in case if uh, a good is costing rupees 100 in one year, then in the next year, it is costing whatever, say, for example, 120. Okay, so this increase in prices, this overall increase in the price which has happened, this is called inflation. Okay, what causes this inflation and so on and so forth, we'll be talking about this in detail, but on an average, um, but very, very, very basic terms. So this overall increase in prices is called inflation, right? So, and uh, the rate of inflation in this case would be what 120 minus 100 upon 100. This is the rate of inflation. This is the rate of inflation and this is the percentage change in the overall percentage change in the overall level of prices. Right. This is the percentage change in the overall level of prices. This is called rate of inflation. Now, this is different from hyperinflation. We'll be talking about that as well. But hyperinflation is uh, uh, when prices increase a lot. Okay. So, for example, something which is happening in Zimbabwe, which happened in Zimbabwe. Okay. And... Uh, or something which happened in Germany in 1920s, right? So all of this, all of those were the cases or episodes of hyperinflation. Also, when we are going to talk about inflation right now, we are going to talk about the classical case. Okay. So when you're talking about classical case, it means that you're assuming that prices are flexible. Okay. Prices are flexible. Prices are flexible, that is, they can change. They can change, they can vary. While when you assume, and, and one more thing that many of the economists, they have assumed that when you talk about the classical case, it is basically happening in the long run, okay? While the contrasting view is when prices are sticky, right? So when prices are sticky, right that is not the classical case clear when prices are sticky and we'll also talk about that but in the later recordings that is in the short run short run prices they do not change a lot but while in the long run prices are flexible and they can change a lot so inflation is uh, in what do you mean by inflation it is just an increase in the average level of prices right and the price this price is the rate at which money is exchanged it is the rate at which money is exchanged for a good or a service right for a good or a service so guys what is money basically okay so i'm giving you the the definition see when you talk about money you also mean your wealth right um, but economists when they talk about money it means that the stock of assets that can be readily used to make transactions right so whatever rupees which is in the hands of the public that will make up the nation's stock of money that is what money is see i'm not talking about money in your purse or as such only in your purse i'm talking this is the macroeconomics right so 